Hello together. This video shows how to change uh, the distance between uh, in the list universal Windows platform app <coughs> the distance between those rows. As you see, I have here in my background a small uh, an app running like this one, and there's always this uh, this space between those line elements and it's very difficult to get rid of them so um, when uh, in a standard app it works quite good and when you have a phone and have standard uh, text elements line uh, on a, as a bound uh, database behind this element then uh, it works quite good but there's, there's always the space between there so how to change this and uh, I'm going to show you now Let's stop this one. <clears throat> First, I go. Sh I will show you how to what the effect on that stuff is when you highlight it. Now I don't need this anymore. Let's take this one out. <clears throat> so in my case, I have a. In my case, I have a list box control. Here it is, and in the list box control, I'm not sure. list box standard list box control, where there's all that stuff inside, and there's nothing, nothing special. It's uh, placed on a grid, and there's a scroll view, or nothing, nothing, nothing special. So when I start this one, and I when I in this list box. I implement all the way um, sub elements uh, in this case. So when I start it and I, when I highlight it, then you will see that the elements itself have a margin around. That's what I wanted to show. The list box element itself, uh, the item, has a margin, a space between that. So when you, uh, that's also a problem when you click on it. It's not the same if you click here or there. There's uh, the space between does nothing. Okay. So how to get rid of that stuff is when you when we are here in our uh, list box element, you have to implement a small code block with a style setter. It's like HTML. Um, here it is, like the HTML style. So inside the list box, there where there's the closing uh, um, uh, tag, the closing tag here, or bracket, then you have to implement here a list box item of the item container style. So when you type this in here, item container style. And the item container style, that's the elements inside there. There you have to set up the style element uh, of target type list box item. So that's the item list box item is one row uh, and the to set up the style there. And there you have to say setter property padding zero margin zero. And when we start this one now, we'll see the improvement. That's now the improvement. You, you see those lines on the items itself are uh, close together. They connect together. Now this might be a bit, little bit uh, too small and <coughs> they adapt when you uh, change the size. Uh, now this one is too small. So in my case, I may change my sub items, which are um, objects of a class. Here's a user control. Here's a uh, user control element and I'm implementing those uh, user control elements when I get rid of this um, this um, the background yellow and all that stuff which makes the element uh, highlights the element this was just for the demo and when you set in there Okay, I <coughs> clicked a little bit too fast on it. 
when you have the list box itself here's the setter now you may set uh, yeah you inside the element it's a little bit when I change the, the margin or the pad, uh, the padding and marching uh, of the item container style then the elements itself are smaller and you may click not at the uh, fitting not straight on the element so when you need a click uh, event then you have to set the padding inside the element so when that's now a user control as a sub element then I may change here the margin or the padding that's here the four pixels now when you start it again and with no li no highlighting so we have a high uh, a distance a small distance here and this is uh, I, I may modify it it <coughs> here with my user control and if I have as a bounded as a uh, binding source, uh, data source, uh, list, um, what is it, um, let's, uh, a common list, a data list, yeah, then uh, you may only um, change this one inside the grid, you may change the item container style, <coughs> list box item and all this. I think, uh, I hope that I could help you in this case because I always run in this uh, point and the behavior of list box items and um, list views uh, seems to be close and you always have the same problem there. If you liked it, take a thumb from there.